This is a problem from the mathematical usage section of a CAST practice test. The mathematical usage section is all about converting. So you'll be given a list of conversion factors to use when converting. We're converting from 60 rods to furlongs. So start with what you, what you have originally, which is the 60 rods. Go ahead and put that over 1, and we're going to multiply it times a conversion factor. Um, if it includes rods and furlongs, it'll be even quicker. So we have this conversion factor 1 furlong equals 40 rods. And you want to make sure that you put your units in diagonal positions. So 40 rods is going to go in our denominator so that we can cross cancel rods and convert to our furlongs. So you put your 1 furlong in the numerator. This is again called, it's your conversion factor. We're multiplying fractions, so we cross cancel the rods. You can also cross cancel to simplify. So you can cross cancel by dividing numerator and denominator both by 20. So 60 divided by 20 is 3, 40 divided by 20 is 2. So it's 3 halves furlongs or 1 and 5 tenths furlongs. So there's an example, and our answer is B here, of a, a problem you'd see on the mathematical usage section of the CAST exam. Good luck. This is a problem from the mathematical usage section on the CAST practice exam. It deals with converting kilograms to pounds. The mathematical usage section of the CAST exam is conversions. So on this one, we're converting 4 kilograms to, and we have to find the number of pounds. So we start with our 4 kilograms. Put that over 1, and then we're going to multiply it times a conversion factor. So you want to look in your uh, list of conversions for kilograms and or pounds. So we, we have two different conversions that deal with kilograms, and this conversion dis deals specifically with kilograms to pounds. So that's the conversion factor we're going to use here. We want our kilograms to be in diagonal position. So I'm going to put my one kilogram in the denominator, and one kilogram is two and two tenths pounds. So our two and two tenths pounds goes in the numerator. Now the reason for putting your units in diagonal positions is because you're multiplying fractions together. And when you multiply fractions, you can cross cancel your units. So now we just multiply straight across. Four times two and two tenths is eight and eight tenths pounds. So that means that four kilograms is eight and eight tenths pounds. So there you have one example of the type of problem you'll see in the mathematical usage section of the CAST test. This is a problem from the mathematical usage section of a CAST practice exam. On the mathematical usage section of the CAST exam, you'll be working conversion problems. Let's work this conversion. One barrel is how many quarts? So we'll start with what we know, which is that we have one barrel. We'll put that over one, and then we're going to multiply by a conversion factor. So we're going to look in our chart, which you'll have on the CAST exam. You will have the conversions. So we're looking for barrels and quarts. I see this conversion factor that says one barrel is 42 gallons. But of course, I'm not trying to convert to gallons. I'm trying to convert to quarts. So we keep looking, and we see another conversion factor for converting gallons to quarts. So I'm going to convert twice, basically. I'm going to start with converting my barrels into gallons, and then I'll convert my gallons into quarts, and then we'll have our answer. So we're going to multiply by this first conversion factor that one barrel is 42 gallons. So we want our barrels to be in diagonal position so that when we multiply, they cross cancel. So one barrel is 42 gallons. So your barrels cross cancel again because we're multiplying fractions. And then we're going to multiply again by our, our other conversion factor for converting our gallons into quarts. 
So again, we want those units to be in diagonal position. So one gallon is four quarts. And then our gallons cross cancel. And we can just multiply straight across. We're just multiplying fractions, so we just multiply straight across. 1 times 42 times 4. 42 times 2 is 84, and then you double 84, and you get 168 quarts. And then your denominator is 1. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So the answer is simply 168 quarts. So there you have an example of a problem from the mathematical usage section on the CAST test. Good luck. This is a problem from the mathematical usage section of a CAST practice exam. On the mathematical usage section of the CAST exam, you're going to be doing conversions. And you'll have a conversion table to use. In this conversion, we start with 17 and 6 tenths feet per second, and we want to convert that to miles per hour. And it just so happens that we have a conversion for feet per second to miles per hour. So that's the conversion factor we're going to multiply by. We want our feet per second to cancel, so we need to put those in our denominator. 4 and 4 tenths feet per second is 3 miles per hour. So since we're multiplying fractions, our diagonal units cancel. So feet per second cancels with feet per second. We can also cross cancel with the 17 and 6 tenths and the 4 and 4 tenths. You can divide 17 and 6 tenths and 4 and 4 tenths both by 4 and 4 tenths. 4 and 4 tenths divided by 4 and 4 tenths is 1. 17 and 6 tenths divided by 4 and 4 tenths is 4. Then we just multiply straight across. So 4 times 3 miles per hour is 12 miles per hour. And the denominator is 1. So there's your answer, 12 miles per hour. There's an example of how to work one of the conversion problems from the mathematical usage section on the CAST test. Good luck. This problem is from the mathematical usage section of a CAST practice exam. The mathematical usage section of the CAST exam is over conversions, and you'll have a conversion chart like the one shown here. For this conversion, we're converting from pints to gallons. We start with seven pints. Now we want to look at our conversion chart and find conversions for pints and gallons. So I see that one pint is four gills, but I don't really see how that's going to help us convert to gallons. And then we have this one quart is two pints. That means we can convert from pints to quarts. And then we have this other conversion for gallons and quarts. So once we convert to quarts, we can then convert the quarts into gallons, which is our goal. So we'll start with the first conversion of one quart is two pints. So we're going to multiply times that conversion factor, and you want to make sure that your units are in diagonal positions so that when you multiply the fractions, you can cross-cancel the units. So we're going to put our two pints in the denominator so that those will cross-cancel, and our one quart goes in the numerator. So when we multiply, our pints cross-cancel. Then we multiply times our next conversion factor, for converting our quarts into gallons. So again, we want to put our units diagonally, so we'll put our four quarts in the denominator, and that's one gallon in the numerator. Our quarts cross cancel, and now we can simply multiply straight across. So seven times one times one is seven, and our numerator, one, or that's our numerator, our denominator is one times two times four, or eight. So it's 7 eighths of a gallon. Then if you divide that, 7 eighths is 875 thousandths gallons. So 7 pints is 875 thousandths gallons, which is not pictured here. So we would have to circle E, which is in or not shown or not, it's not there. 
So none of these answers are correct, so we have to choose E for that. So there's an example of one of the conversions from the mathematical usage section of the CAST test. Good luck. <laughs>